Let's take a bite out of some iPhone and Samsung Galaxy rumors. I'm Bridget Carey. This is your CNET Update. What big features will be in next year's smartphones? There's already buzz about the iPhone 7 and Samsung Galaxy S7, but let's start with Apple. Bloomberg is reporting that Apple has opened a secret laboratory in Taiwan where engineers are focused on developing new screen technology for iPhones and iPads. Of course, Apple isn't commenting on this, but the report says Apple began operating the lab this year to make the next iPhones even thinner, lighter, brighter, and would use less battery. Now, there's reportedly a push to move toward organic LEDs, which do not require a backlight. But if Apple can make its own display tech, the company may not have to rely so much on Samsung and other companies for parts. Now, it's still way too early to talk about what the next iPhone could look like, because Apple could be testing multiple ideas. But one possible change has some worried, because it sounds plausible. Japanese Apple blog Mako Takara has a source saying that the iPhone 7 will not have a typical headphone jack, and instead customers would need to use wireless Bluetooth headphones or buy an adapter that plugs into the lightning charging port. Now, this this would be done to make the iPhone even thinner. Apple owns Beats branded headphones, so it would benefit the company if customers need to buy something new that works with a lightning port. Philips and JBL already make lightning powered headsets, so the specs to do this are out there. And we all know Apple likes forcing people to change their habits. The iMac in 98 didn't have a floppy disk drive. Now you can't find a CD drive in an Apple laptop. And Apple's new 12-inch MacBook doesn't even have a slot for a standard USB. Just the new USB-C port. And that's the only port on the whole thing. Now, what about Samsung? The Wall Street Journal reports that the company is testing pressure-sensitive screens and a new high-speed charging port for its next Galaxy S7 smartphone that's expected to come out in March. There may be even a retina scanner to scan your eye for security. Now, that high-speed charging would likely be a USB-C port, which can give you a full charge in under 30 minutes. And another high-profile Samsung phone, the upcoming Galaxy A9, could have a powerful battery to go with its large screen. Screen. A leaked photo on Weibo was published by the blog Phone Arena and it describes the A9 with a 6 inch display and it'll have a metal body just like the last model, but it will not be the most powerful Galaxy phone. This is expected to be released in January, first in China. That's it for this tech news update and there's more at CNET.com. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.